Makeup stains. Rub some shaving cream on it. Leave it for five minutes. Cold water, stain gone. Wine stains. No problem. Quickly put salt on it. The salt will absorb the stain. Then heat up some milk in a pot or microwave and let the stain soak in there for about 10 minutes. Squeeze out the milk. Run it over cold water and the stain is gone. Check it out. Crazy. Sweat stains. Mix salt and vinegar in a bowl and soak your sweat stains in the solution for like 10 minutes. Then throw it in a dryer. No more sweat stains. Grass stains. Just rub a lemon on it and then throw it in the wash. See, don't throw them out. Cutting board stains. Salt, a little bit of baking soda, and just rub with a lemon. Stain gone. Rust, just soak it in lemon juice. Check this out. And watch the rust just melt off. Big stains on walls. Shaving cream. After cleaning your sink, rub some olive oil on it. No residue, no fingerprints, just shine. Give it a nice finish. Coffee pots and tea kettles. Salt, vinegar, let it sit for 30 minutes and everything comes right off. Boom, check this out. Brand new. None of that white stuff. For scuff marks, use lip balm. Rub it in and rub it away. Did you know if you grab an airtight container, add one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, and a half a cup of vodka or rubbing alcohol? I like to add a few drops of lemon juice. Give it a good mix. Then grab some small microfiber cloths and line them up on a counter like this. Make sure they're all overlap. Roll them up. As you're rolling, grab the next one underneath and overlap it. So you have something like this. Place the cloths in the jar and let them soak in the mixture. Close it. Make sure all the liquid gets absorbed. And boom, what you have right now are homemade disinfectant wipes. Except when you're done, you can wash them, repeat this process, and reuse them. Just open up the jar and grab one whenever you need to clean. Stop buying these disinfectant wipes. It's just a waste of paper, super toxic, super expensive, and it's just pointless. So stop going through these and make your own reusable ones right at home. Water rings. Wet cloth on top and iron it out. Done. Pots and pans, just add some lemon, baking soda and vinegar. Bring it to boil it and you can write off. Wrinkly shirt, no problem. Just throw it in a dryer with one ice cube for five minutes. And then boom, wrinkles gone. Mirrors, just dip a tea bag in some hot water and then scrub with it. Check out how clean it comes out. Boom, crystal clear. If you cut a half of a lime and sprinkle some baking soda on top of it, you can use it to get anything stainless steel to shine. Stove top, baking soda, squeeze lemon juice on top, watch it sizzle, and then use the lemon to scrub it. Check it out. Look at that shine. If you put a piece of lemon in a Ziploc bag and fill it up with vinegar, then tie it around a shower head, leave it for about an hour, it'll descale and remove any dirt inside of it, making it work brand new. Roll up a cloth in a chopstick like this, wrap some rubber bands and ends, and then easily clean hard to reach areas. These annoying stickers. It's actually pretty easy. Just put some cooking oil on top and let it sit and check this out. Comes right off. If you crumple up some newspaper and dip it in some vinegar and water, you can use it against shriek free windows. windows. No problem. Just put a penny hook over a vacuum. Just vacuum up small items whenever you drop them. Whoops. If you rub some shaving cream on your mirrors with a newspaper, they won't fog up the next time you shower. Done making coffee? Dump the coffee grounds into a cup. And place the cup in the fridge, bathroom, near your shoes. Because coffee removes odors. I like to add some to my hand soap and dish soap. Get rid of orders in your hands, and it acts as an abrasive to clean your dishes. Rub the inside of a cucumber peel on chrome surfaces to remove fingerprints and restore shine. Whoa. If you mix some vodka in a spray bottle with a little bit of water, then spray it on your fabric surface, the alcohol will attach to those funky smelling molecules. When it evaporates, mm. odor free. When you're done squeezing the juice out of lemons, don't throw out the peels. Instead, what you want to do is slice them up. By the way, if the cutting board keeps sliding around like this, all you gotta do is wet a paper towel, place it underneath it, and boom, it's not going anywhere.
The next thing you want to do is grab a spray bottle and put the slices in there. Add a half a cup of white vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, a tiny bit of dish soap, and fill the rest up with some water. Close it, give it a good shake. What you have right now is a homemade, chemical-free, citrusy disinfectant. Use it to clean anything in your house and leave your house smelling like lemon. So don't buy those cleaners at the store to contain toxic chemicals. Just do this instead. It's magic. 